This is my review on Moxie Beauty products. Before buying anything from the range, listen to my detailed thoughts. So I've been using these products from November. But I've held off on giving you a review because my hair has been in severe curl shock. It's very difficult for me to review products on hair that won't curl. Now that my hair has started curling again and my hair is in better condition, I feel a little better giving you this review. So now, in the range there are some products that I really liked. There are some products that I did not like and I'm not going to recommend. First I'll talk about the range as a whole and then I'll break it down product by product. The brand has also given me a discount code which gives you 15% off your purchase. This is not going to impact or sway my opinions in any way. First of all the packaging is very aesthetic. Most of the products in the line come in three sizes. You have a full size, you have a more affordable 50 gram size and you have a 15 ml mini size. On the website, if you buy products over 499 rupees, then you get to select two minis free with your order. Everything in the range smells really nice. The fragrances are not too strong or overwhelming. The products have a fresh floral fragrance, leaning more towards the fresh side. The most innovative product in the range is the SPF hair serum. The hair oil is neither too thick nor too light. But if I had to lean in one direction, I would say that this is on the lighter side. The hair oil features a blend of multiple oils such as sunflower oil, chocolate oil, avocado oil, castor oil, coconut, hemp, lemon, rosemary, turmeric and arnica amongst others. The oil primarily smells of hemp oil. It comes in a glass bottle with a pump which I appreciate. The reason the oil stands out to me is because it contains rosemary oil. I love pre pooing my hair with rosemary oil because it promotes healthy hair growth. Rosemary is the most sought after ingredient in hair care oils. But the thing is you can't use rosemary oil straight up. It needs to be heavily diluted with a carrier oil. If you make mistakes in the dilution, it can cause some serious scalp issues. Because of this, I always prefer using rosemary oil when it's blended by a product formulator. Eliminating the possibility of error. Because of this reason, this oil has become one of my go-to oils. The shampoo is a moisture product. There's no protein in the top five, but we do see a few sources of protein lower down on the list. The shampoo is very cleansing. A little bit goes a long way. Do not use too much of it, even if you're tempted. This shampoo is almost as cleansing as a clarifying shampoo. I think it's going to suit a variety of hair types because it removes buildup so well. My prediction is out of the range, this is probably going to be a favorite product. The shampoo is formulated very well. It smells divine. It has a runny consistency. It is moisturizing and it is cleansing it can remove a pre-poo oil with ease no issues at all i feel like if you buy the shampoo you'll be very happy with it this is definitely one of the best shampoos i've used so far in the cg category next the conditioner the conditioner is again a moisture product we see one source of protein lower down on the list since this is a small protein it is tolerated by most hair types without issues usually small proteins do not have an effect on protein sensitive hair but i'm going to ask you to rely on your own experiences here the conditioner is thick and buttery it is the thickest conditioner that i've used so far in fact the conditioner is even thicker than some of the masks that i've used so far this conditioner is going to be liked by people who enjoy heavy products the most important part the conditioner did not give me enough slip to detangle my hair if you dry detangle your hair then this may not be an issue but if you wet detangle your hair in shower and you need a lot of slip then this conditioner is not suitable for you. The leave-in conditioner is a moisture product. We see keratin amino acid way down in the list. Since it's a small protein, this product is going to suit a variety of hair types. If you have high porosity hair, pair this with a moisturizing gel for best results. Something that gives you soft to medium hold. Do not pair this product with a hard hold gel. For medium porosity hair, be careful and experiment with the quantity until you find the right amount for your hair. You can pair this with a medium to hard hold gel for best results. Try to pair this with a weightless gel, not something that gives you a lot of weight. Do not pair this with a moisturizing gel. I'm going to give the same advice to people with low porosity hair. Next, let's talk about the curl cream. This is also a moisture product. There's no protein in the top five but we see coconut lower down on the list so straight away i'm going to say that if you have coconut sensitive hair then this product is not for you now again for high porosity hair i'm going to advise you to pair this with a soft to medium hold gel something that is moisturizing something that has weight people with medium porosity hair can pair this with a weightless gel something that has harder hold low porosity people if you have coconut sensitive hair then this product is not for you both the leave-in conditioner and the curl cream do not give you a cast from the time that i got the curl cream i haven't been able to put it down i'll tell you why usually on day two day three day four i use a little bit of oil to dry refresh my hair now what happens if i use too much oil by mistake now you're left with greasy hair because now i have medium porosity hair almost everything is too heavy for my hair these days so i have to be really careful let's say i've used too much oil and now my hair is greasy now i don't know how to get rid of that greasy feeling or i've used the wrong oil and now suddenly my hair feels hard and stiff 
and kind of crunchy. There's no way to get rid of that crunchy feeling from an oil. This is my workaround. I do a dry refresh with the curl cream. I take a tiny amount of the curl cream and apply it to dry hair. I start separating my curl clumps and coating my clumps from top to bottom with the product. This instantly brings back shine and gloss to my hair. I also finger coil the clumps that have lost definition to bring back the texture. Usually when you apply product to dry hair, it can cause a feeling of crunchiness. This does not happen with the curl cream. Since the product does not give you a cast, it helps to add lubrication between the hair strands, reducing further tangling and matting. My hair is very coarse and gets tangled up very easily. Within a day, my hair can start matting, making it very important for me to separate my clumps regularly. I enjoy this product quite a lot because it brings back shine and moisture to my hair and it also adds a lot of volume. Next, the Flexi Serum Gel, which is a serum. The serum gel has a custard-like texture. It provides the lightest hold possible. No protein in the top five. We see a small protein lower down on the list. This product is not what you're expecting. If you have started your CG journey, you're comfortable using a leave-in conditioner and a gel or using a leave-in conditioner and a mousse, then this product you're not going to like. Let me explain. The gel is a no crunch gel. Who is this formulated for? This is made for people who are scared of gels and mousses because they don't like the feeling of crunchy hair. If you have tight curls, you've never done a CG routine ever before, you've never styled your curly hair, gels are very scary to you and you're not willing to experiment with them, you're looking for something to just make your hair slightly manageable. Although I find the word to be quite problematic, let's just use it here. For people who just want their hair to be slightly manageable if you're looking for a little bit of hold but you want no crunchy feeling and you want a little bit of moisturization this product is for you but for you and me the audience of this channel primarily people who are very comfortable with gels and mousses this product you're not going to like i'll give you two scenarios the serum gel gives you moisture and gives you a tiny bit of hold for most of us the amount of hold is not going to be enough it is not going to give us robust curl clumps. And so automatically I can tell you that we won't like this product. Secondly, for people who have hair that needs light moisturization, once you use a leave-in conditioner and then when you go to use a gel that gives you extra moisture, what's going to happen? Your hair is going to become over moisturized. And so you're not going to like this product. If you use the leave-in conditioner and the serum gel together, or if you use the curl cream and the serum gel together, it's going to be way too much moisture for your hair. Maybe if you have higher porosity hair, you have a tighter curl pattern, and you like heavy moisturization, then maybe a leave-in conditioner and the serum gel, or the curl cream and the serum gel might be good for you. More often than not, wavy hair, in my experience, requires a lot of hold for it to last well during the week. Since this product gives you so little hold, it's not going to last. And so you're probably not going to like this product. If that did not make any sense, let me explain it again. For people like you and me, who have already used a gel with a leave-in conditioner, or we're very comfortable using a mousse and leave-in conditioner, or curl cream and gel, curl cream and mousse, we are not going to like this product. This product is not for us. This product is for people who have wavy or curly hair, more than wavy, I would say people who have curly hair. Your hair already has a lot of definition, but you don't like the frizz. You don't want to use a gel. You don't want to use a mousse. You just want a product to make your hair slightly manageable. This product is for those people. This is not for people who are already comfortable with a curly hair routine. And of course, this product is for people who do not want that crunchy feeling at all. So if you have experience with gels and mousses, this product don't pick up because I don't think you're going to like it. However, I have to share one interesting observation with the gel. Usually, I'm not a refresh kind of person. On my medium porosity hair, refreshing makes my hair feel very heavy and very greasy. When I attempt to refresh with the serum gel, it performs very well. It adds definition to my hair without adding any weight to it. I'm inserting a demo here. I separate some of my clumps that are beyond saving with a dry refresh. I finger detangle first. Then I coat my hair with some water and use the unbrush to detangle. I apply the product and then I finger roll the sections. I let it dry and then I scrunch it out. This restores my clumps without making my hair feel greasy. The hair serum is a moisture product. This is protein free. It provides sun protection. So how does one use this product? You can either use it on damp hair or you can use it on dry hair. I've tried both. I prefer using this on dry hair. I take a little bit of the product. I emulsify it on my hands and then I glaze it on my hair length superficially. This product is heavy, so if your hair gets weighed down very easily, 
Please don't use too much of it. The Fly Fix Stick. This product gives you soft hold. The purpose is to tame flyaways. It does a good job taming frizz. I'm going to do a detailed shot demonstrating the application process and the results. So stay tuned for that. For now, I'm going to leave it here. In my next video, I'm going to do a deep dive of the leave-in conditioner versus the curl cream and then we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching and if you're looking for more wavy curly hair content, check out these videos right here.